So I think we've all underestimated the risks of tipping points. Um, you know, in New Zealand, for example, uh, a lot of us have grown up with the sea and with the fresh water that we swim in. And I think we've been surprised and a little bit um, shocked by uh, where things have got to for, for even for New Zealand, which is better than probably anywhere in the world. Um, so I think we, it's almost like it's crept up on all of us. And I think, um, so I think, I think that's for everybody really. When I came into the environmental area, I kind of was probably a bit naive about what those tipping points were. I thought we were further away from some of them. But around the world, there are tipping points around um, safe havens around nitrogen, for example, and New Zealand's one of the um, highest um, users of, of nitrogen fertilizer. And so one of the things that we know is that we're not, we're not seeing yet the lag in uh, what, what we've done, what we've put on the land. Um, so already we've got freshwater quality issues. Uh, when we see the load that's been put on our land, um, we expect to see those worsening. So I think um, nitrogen is one of our biggest ones in New Zealand and our biodiversity loss as well. So um, for New Zealanders, um, understanding our species, they're really unique uh, and you know, they're endemic, that, you know, so they're, they're only here or they only breed here. So once they've gone from New Zealand, that's it. And I think that is, we've reached a point now where we really need to think about that.